Hi there, fancy friends, it's Oliver, and this video is a quick response video. Or let's say, it should have been. Now it's more than that. Make sure to watch the video till the end. I need your knowledge. Okay, how it starts. Um, I watched the um, class from Markus Hampel um, for the online Drain event. And it was about the line in FC Christman's sail fencing. You have to know that Marcus and I um, are working together the Christman material since around 2012. And um, of course, we are not always um, the same opinion about things. And that is what it makes so productive. Um, so especially this one, because the source doesn't tell you anything about um, the feet in gout. So let's say the uh, fencing line goes right through the uh, front foot and um, at one point Marcus decided that the rear foot is a little bit inside from the line. Um, four reasons. One of them was that um, Christmann likes Zurücksetzen, which is a slip with the front foot uh, behind the rear foot. And when his rear foot is inside the line, um, you could easily slip forwards and backwards. And I like uh, my um, heel from the rear foot on the fencing line too, because I like the uh, straight line um, for the lunge. Um, but anyway, remember the source tells us nothing about it, so both interpretations are fine. The second thing you must know about Marcus is that he's a socks nerd, like me. Um, so I want to change his opinion um, with the source material. But you said there's nothing wrote in the book. Of course, but it has images. And shame on me, eight years um, with the Christmas material and I realized it now for the first time. Um, some plates did have footprints which shows us um, where the fencer stood before he does his footwork. So, and it's clear. So, let's have a look. They show my version and Marcus' version and a third version. Whoa, wait, I didn't see that coming. And I don't know this from any other source of the uh, 19th century. Um, okay. I know Doculini's work, um, he's an Italian fencing master from the 17th century and he said um, put your front foot in the middle of your rear foot um, and you could better lean forward um, without getting out of balance. But this is nothing... Um, a 19th century fencer would think about it because your shoulders um, then are more squared to the line. So I'm curious and uh, that's it when you comes into play. Hello Hive Mind, what tells your source you about your feet in guard? Especially the why. Please, please, please write me in the comments 
make a response video, I'm highly interested. And no, I don't think that the uh, plates are just sloppy. And that's all from me for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.